her laugh, her smile and everything just made you just instantly in a better mood. She always had her family present and so she will be sorely missed. Right now at 530, flowers and a candle to remember a beloved teacher in the place where she was tragically killed. Good evening, I'm Alice Gaynor. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. That teacher and mother was killed in a hit and run in Dumont in Bergen County. CBS 2's Nick Calloway has more on the community that is mourning a deep loss as the search for the driver continues. This small memorial sits at the corner of Madison and Washington Avenues in Dumont. It was here that Elizabeth Rosa was hit by a car and killed Thursday evening around 5.20 p.m. Police say the driver took off. I just feel terrible. I wanted to come and pay my respects here. I, I, I was devastated when I heard the news. Kelly Moreno is a close friend of Rosa's daughter. She said Rosa could always be counted on to brighten your day. Her laugh, her smile and everything just made you just instantly in a better mood. And I really, really miss her. And I just... I just can't believe that this has happened. Rosa had been a first grade dual language teacher at Greco Elementary School in Englewood since 2005. Officials there said she had an unwavering dedication to teaching and touched the lives of countless children. Several of her colleagues and friends stopped by to leave flowers at the scene of the tragedy Friday afternoon. Liz was a vibrant person, kind, and uh, loved her family. If there's one thing that we could always say is that um, she always had her family present, and so she will be sorely missed. Police are looking for the suspect in this hit and run. Those who knew and loved Elizabeth Rosa want the driver to turn themselves in. Yeah, I just really hope the driver comes forward and, and he owns up for what he did because he hurt a lot of people. Anyone with information about this crime should contact Dumont Police or the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. In Dumont, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.